right, Zach. I right. do believe we're live. How's everything we're going? We're live, Daryl. We're doing well. It's another good Friday, and I can't complain. How are you? Fantastic. Cannot complain. Cannot complain. So far, everything looks pretty good. Uh, you know, here in Jersey, we've got some pretty decent weather. Got a nice little cool breeze going on. So, you know, it, it's, it feels like uh, barbecue time, you ask me. There you go. You, you cooking <laughs> up something this weekend? Hey, um, I, actually, yeah, I think I think my wife and I are gonna. Oh, this weekend is definitely her birthday, so I got it. I better say that. Yeah. But yeah, uh, but, uh, yeah this weekend's her birthday, so yeah, I want to. I don't know. Uh, with COVID, we can't go out nowhere. So yeah. Like, yeah, I could find a little something on the grill, get a little wine or something. There you go. Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> Well, well, let me tell you. Oh, you know something? I got to share my screen, Zach. Totally forgot. There you go. What, what do you got for us this weekend, Darren? Well, this week. This week. Let me tell you. Oh, come on here. Where's my... Sometime technology. All right. So, let me... Uh... Here we go. All right. So uh, Commercial Multifamily Mastermind Group, right, presents the weekend brief for August 14, 2020 with, well, Julie is on vacation. So she's from Old Capital, but she's not going to be able to be here today, but that's okay because we have Zach Week from the Multifamily Group, and I am here, Dal Murphy Sr. from the Murphy Banner Group. So... Today brief will be coming from the National Real Estate Investor. The topic, multifamily, the current status of eviction bans by state. Many elected leaders enacted emergency bans on evictions as part of COVID-19 relief measures. Those have now come to an end in some states. A big part of COVID-19 relief policy in the early days of the crisis was a ban on evictions. At the federal level, that included a 120-day ban on evictions as part of the CARES Act, which has now expired. Separately, the Federal Housing Finance Agency has ordered Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to keep in place moratoriums on foreclosures and evictions on enterprise-backed single-family mortgages only. That ban is scheduled to expire on August 31st. In addition, the FHFA has mandated that multifamily property owners with government-backed loans and the forbearance inform renters about the eviction protection the policy extends to them. Aside from that, many states and cities put in place additional bans. Eventually, some of these prompted legal challenges that are still winding their way through the court system. Now, with both extended unemployment insurance benefits and eviction moratoriums expiring, the number of evictions could quickly explode. Legal website nolo.com has been maintaining a regularly updated list of current uh, status of local eviction bans based on the information from that site, which was last updated August 7th. And, uh, and there is, uh, I'm going to show everybody the, um, the map and the link in this, so I'm not going to read the rest of that, but I want to show everyone that the site, and I want to thank uh, this, uh, 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 the National Real Estate uh, Investor, but I want to show everybody what they're talking about that's going to show the states that have the ban in effect. So the, the state of eviction bans Right here, the, the burgundy ones are evictions currently banned 
that, that have have evictions currently banned. So, and this is directly from the National Real Estate Investor. All right. So the, the burgundy ones show evictions currently banned. The green ones are evictions allowed. And the yellow are states that have partial evictions. Now, if if anyone wants more information, then come over here to NOLO. Go to NOLO.com and and NOLO.com, they're going to show you this is an updated list as of August 7th. Every state, county, or city that's hold that that um hold on evictions or hold on utility shutoffs. And they're going to tell you which ones that, that have it and do not. So, so Alabama, for example, um, no hold. They expired July 1st. But there was one uh, right here, California, over 120-day local jurisdiction. And uh, as you can see, they, and they have uh, some sort of a hold. Now, this last column of, gives you notes. So you can read the notes everyone you can read the notes to let you know what each state says or county or local municipality in reference to the current evictions so everyone you need to stay up on this so that you will know what market whatever market you're in you'll know how to handle it and if you have any questions i will highly encourage you to call that local municipality uh, uh, uh and ask them about the eviction process I did it. I'm going to tell you, I did it. I definitely, because my market is Texas, and I got on a horn, and I called down there to um, to talk to them. So I wanted to know exactly what was going on, Zach, exactly what was going on. So tell so, me, what, 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 did you, what did you talk about, um, and what did you learn? Well, what I asked her specifically, I said, um, one, are the courts open? Are they doing evictions? She said, yes. And this was in uh, the county of Laredo at that time. Mm -hmm. So what she explained to me was, although the courts were open, there were certain um, there were certain dates that th the courts were open, but they weren't going to hold any eviction uh, court. Once the end of the that end of the month had came, which was the end of July, and and and, and this is August now, but when I did it. They said, you can submit your paperwork for eviction, but nothing's going to happen until the end of July. Now, if by chance your property falls up under a federal guideline, which is Fannie Freddie, you know, then whatever Fannie Freddie had implemented, you must follow what Fannie Freddie says, regardless of whether if the city, county, municipality, if you didn't, if whatever the, the local government or, or, or state government said, regardless of what they said, you got to go by Fannie Freddie. So, and if I'm not mistaken, Fannie Freddie had a, um, uh, their dates were just slightly different, a, a little longer out than what the the local municipality had established. So, yeah, that Texas was was uh, they back in July when that lift was gone, they was open in court. Yeah, and what have you been seeing? As you know, we've been reporting collections have been stable compared to last year, but is that accurate? Has you seen something different well, as an investor? You know, that's an excellent question because some of the um, properties, some of the evaluations that I've been doing, um, and, and, I, and, and I have mentioned this before, some of the evaluations that I've been doing, when I get the rent roll, one of the things I look for, I go over to the balance column and I want to see if there's an outstanding balance. I look because that is going to affect the valuation on that property. Now, to give, I, I just want to give it a little perspective of what I'm talking about. If you look at the last column of the balance at the very bottom, now I'm not saying all T12s are going to have this. So if, if it's not there, you really need to call and ask, is there an outstanding balance? Okay. But with me looking at 100 units and greater, their T12s are pretty much really in depth. So I looked over in the corner and, uh, of one of the T12s, and when I got to the bottom, I, uh, I saw an, uh, an outstanding balance. It was, it was approximately about $10,000, right? So I said, wait a minute, because 
in the balance sheet, not only was there people that owed money, but there were people that had credit also. So I said, well, let me go through and add up only those that had outstanding balances. I don't want to know about the people that have credit because they're good. So I went through and I added all of the people that had outstanding balances. And do you know that came to over $20,000 in outstanding balance for that month? Well, wow. Then you look back on the previous rent roll for the month. An outstanding balance of people that wasn't paying their rent. So I just want to tell you, take a look at your T12. If there's no outstanding balance column, you need to ask, are, are, there, in, are there any people that, has, that have not paid their rent? And what is that total? Because that will affect, that could affect the, the valuation. But if you're going to acquire that property and those people still have not paid their rent now the responsibility is going to fall on you to get them out or mm -hmm. make them pay you got it's going to be one or the other it's going to hurt your bottom line yeah I mean, that's a tough decision yeah for sure, sure. Uh, Which, so what you got going on zach yeah i mean not a lot uh not a lot of updates since last week i think you know it, it's just another another week of, of, of trying to discover more new deals and connecting buyers and sellers. And um, I think the, the discrepancy between, you know, what the, the prices were, um, you know, pre COVID, I think uh, the market, it's, it's very similar. Um, I think we, we've gotten a, a resurgence of in the market that I think we're a little bit more stable, even though there is uncertainty, but I think we have a lot more breathing room than we did two months ago. So um, not a whole lot of update. Uh, we did. We have. I have seen some collections fall on some, on some um, properties. Um, okay. so that's that's given, and, and like you said, it's very important to be doing the due diligence, as you, as you mentioned. So, um, yeah, I, I can't say much other than that. It's just a, it's just okay. another week, and uh, trying to trying to get some deals uh, to people and, and and get some mellow eyes in. Okay, fantastic. You know, I was listening to um, to Neil Bauer, and and. He had mentioned, I do believe it was Neil Bauer, um, but he had mentioned something about that what he's looking to possibly happen was that the cap rates were not going to go up. Like they were going to pretty much stay stable the way they are. He said, but what, the, what you were liable to see is the valuation of the properties coming down due to the fact of the people not paying rents and unable to pay rents or losing their jobs. So so have have you seen any of that starting to happen yet? Yeah, absolutely. I mean I think when when, you know, uh during COVID, I think right before it started happening, uh owners were asking, you know, let's just say a certain amount of price. And we have seen it come down uh as, you know, in the market if people are not willing to spend that. And so is it due to collections? Is there an adjustment? Is there a correction? Absolutely. Um, and so that's, that's a great point that you made. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, that's all I have. Zach, what about you? That's it. Is that all for you? Yeah, I, I think this was a, it was a quiet week. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, which, which is good to have sometimes. And, um, um, I, I don't have much. I don't have much, but I, I, I we, we're missing Julie. I know we, should, we know she's on vacation <laughs> and, and she'll, she'll return next week with us. That's exactly. Exactly. Any plans for you this weekend? You have anything going on? I think just see some family and um, get some get some workouts in and and right. and, and just nothing much because I mean everything's canceled, so you have to find a new why in your exactly. life. And, and so exactly. I think it has done great things for everybody to reflect on you know right. what's most important, what's priority, right. where you spend your time. And I think right. uh, it's good. Everyone's having a little bit of downtime, which is, I think is good in America. We we needed right. it. I, I yeah. agree on that. I agree. What about that. you? Um, well, this weekend is my wife's birthday, so oh, well, I, I may just do something. Yeah, I may do something. Um, I, I did order her a cake. Hopefully, she don't watch this because she's not here right now. <laughs> yeah, but, I don't think she's watching. Right, but uh, I did order her a cake, and uh, I, since we're not we're unable to really go out, 
I probably did five the grill, get something, throw some stuff on the grill. See, um, see if my son will come home, my daughter, and we just have some good time together, you know. But I do want to say one thing. Um, September, I may be in Texas. Okay. Um, you, you, you heard of Brad Sumrock? Yes, I Yes, I do. He has a, a, a function in September. It's called, I think, NatCom. Okay. So I was thinking about possibly attending that. Um, you know, Where's it located? In Dallas? Yes. It's going to be in Dallas. So uh, I may be I could be there. Huh? The possibility, I, possibility I could be in Dallas. We never know. Cool. All right. Well, if, if I if I if I do come, I will let you know. Please let me know. I will let you know. All right. We got to we got to meet in person, Daryl. Sounds good. That's it. Hey, that's a winner to me, man. <laughs> that's a winner <laughs> to me. So, awesome. how, how could everybody get in contact with you? Yeah, the same thing. You know, uh, my cell phone number is seven one three. Okay. 755-7375. That's the best way to contact me. Or if you just go to the multifamily group uh, website, you can you can find my profile there or LinkedIn. Uh, and my email is Z-A-C-H-W-E-I-K at multifamilygrp.com. Fantastic. And everybody know how to get in contact with me. Please hit me up here on the uh, on, right here on Facebook on the video, or you can see me on YouTube. This video will be posted there. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me here at the Commercial Multifamily Mastermind Group. Also on Tuesdays from 11 to 12, every day from 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, the, we have the Lunch and Grow Commercial Multifamily. So come on out, be with us, meet other investors, network, build your net worth. Your net worth, isn't, yeah, your net worth. Is it your you net go. worth is built your network? I think that's how you got it. Right. You got it. You got it. Okay. The time right. twister. I know, right? But listen, Zach, take it easy. Have a good weekend and let's stay in you touch. Too. All you right. Too, All right. Take okay. care. Thank you now. Bye.